Hey guys, it's Kim. So for this week's video, I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm going to do a story time video. Um, I wasn't actually going to film it, but I was talking, this kind of came up in conversation there the other day with one of my friends and she's like, oh my gosh, you should definitely do a story time video about it. So yeah, because I guess it's one of those things that you never think would happen to you, but it happens to you. So this is a story about how me and my friend ended up staying on the same hotel room floor as Five Seconds of Summer. So yeah, this story, I guess I will give you some back story too. This story is from back in 2013, I believe. Yes, because it is the first time, it's the second tour that One Direction went on, I believe. And it was the first time Five Seconds of Summer opened for One Direction. Yes. And this scene was July 4th, I believe. Um, and it was in Montreal and performed at the Bell Centre. So before we, after we booked our tickets and stuff, to see One Direction, we were looking at hotels to stay in in Montreal, and we know that most places, if there is like an arena or something that someone is performing in, they're more than likely going to stay in a hotel that's associated with the hotel. So we kind of looked it up for Montreal, and then if you are playing in the Bell Center, then you're going to be staying at I believe it was the Sheridan, is what the hotel is. So we decided, hey, we're going to book a hotel room in the Sheridan Hotel because how amazing would it be to be in the same hotel as five sec as um, One Direction. So we did that and we booked our room. When we fly to Montreal we got a taxi to our hotel and there was nothing like there was no commotion or nothing anyway so we went in we waited we checked in and our room wasn't ready so we uh, dropped our bags off at the concierge desk and as we did we were kind of like, our hotel kind of has like this little underground thing which cars kind of go through and that's where like the, one of the entrances are, like the main entrances. So it's like more of like a tunnel, I guess you could say. All of a sudden all you could hear was all these like screaming girls running through this tunnel thing and we're like, what is on the go? So Jillian waits with the bags and then I run out to see what's on the go and it was this big grey tour bus outside. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a dream come true. One Direction is staying in our hotel. But... I feel like, like deep down I was like, this can't be them. This isn't them. So anyway, I walked back inside because there were so many people there. I was like, well, I'm not going to see them anyway. So I walked back inside with my friend and we check in our bags and then we go outside to see what was on the go. We stood there and waited there for a few minutes and no one was moving or anything. And no one knew who was on the bus. Some people, we heard some people say it was Five Seconds of Summer and we heard a few people say it was One Direction. Now this was before Five Seconds of Summer became popular. This was their first time that they opened for One Direction like they were just starting off I guess it's like becoming popular and stuff as a band so that was fun and dandy and we just left the bus the tour bus or whatever the area and walked on into their own thing and we started passing a few more tour buses like farther down the road and everything else and I was like I don't think that bus up there was One Direction like I feel like there would have been a better like a bigger crowd or nobody would have known because they would have went to a back entrance or something like that so it was all fun and dandy and we went out and did our day and we came back to our hotel that night Normally when you're in a hotel, there's like lots of people on your floor because there's like probably like 50 rooms on a floor or whatever. So normally you hear people talking, you hear doors opening and closing, you hear people get on the elevator, you hear the ice machine. We heard nothing. No, like, I mean, not a sound. Like we were the only people on this floor. And the where we were placed was very strategic. Like if the hotel room, I'm going to say, was like a big square, we were probably in the bottom corner. But the corners were kind of jolted out a bit, so if you were looked through the peephole in your door, you can't see really down the hallways. So we kind of got back to our hotel room, and like you could tell people were kind of acting a bit different. Like some of the staff and stuff were acting like a bit different. So we're like, okay, something's on the go. Like someone's here. Like someone popular is here. So that was fun and dandy, but like there was no, oh, we need to see a room key to get up to the floors or anything. So we go back up to our room. And we get ready to go to bed, but there was no sound. Like, we were, like, afraid to make noise because there was no noise coming from anywhere. So we went to sleep or whatever and got up. And we were getting ready to go shopping. It was this one here was the day of the concert. So the day of the concert, like, oh, we'll take it easy. We'll go shopping, come back early, and we'll get dressed, and we'll go to the concert. So we get up and get ready, and we leave the hotel room floor. And we get the elevator to go down. And we seen some room service trays outside some of the doors. Well, okay, well, there is people on this floor. And we kind of figured there was, but it was just so silent. We didn't hear commotion or anything. So we're like, okay, well, we know that there's people up here. So as we get on the elevator, a few girls come out. And they ask us if we've seen Five Seconds of Summer. And we said, no, they're like, oh, they're staying in your hotel. Are they on your floor? 
I was like, no, we don't know where they are. We don't know, like, you know, if they're staying here or not, but we can tell you there's people on this floor, but we just, there are floor is just extremely oddly quiet like it shouldn't be this quiet they're like okay so we went on shopping or whatever we go into urban outfitters and we bump into the girls that we seen in the elevator at our hotel you know they came up to us and they're like you just missed louis and we're like what and they're like he was here like two minutes ago you just missed him and we're like oh my gosh that's so crazy and then look at us and go five seconds of summer is on your floor and we're like what are you serious like yeah five seconds of summer is staying on your floor um they're staying in that corner that you guys pointed out where the trays were we got to meet them. I was like, are you serious? That is crazy. So we thanked them or whatever went on and we contemplated, oh, should we go up and like try to talk to them? Do we want to knock on the door? And we're like, no, we don't want to bug them. Like they're, well, it's the day of the concert anyway. So they're probably out doing, um, like warming up and everything before the concert. So we're like, no, we're not going to do anything. If we meet them, we meet them. If we don't, we don't. Anyway, so when we were back at the hotel it was probably about like lunch time ish or so we were gonna get ready and take our time and everything so we got back and we would go for ice like every few minutes <laughs> and we'd look through the peephole in our door and everything just to you know coincidentally bump into them anyway so we tried like we didn't want to like forcefully meet them but we kind of did so we were out like trying to look for ice trying to do anything we we're trying to figure out like which rooms they were in and then we were getting ready and we heard this big old knock on someone's door so we stopped everything what we we're doing and we like listened and it was like i guess you could hear keys and stuff it's like okay it must be like a security guard or someone important so they banged on the door and they were like you have three minutes you need to be downstairs in three minutes i'm like okay we have three minutes we need <laughs> we we're like okay we need to figure out who is here three minutes so we're sitting there paying attention and then when three minutes were up we went out to go get ice to go get some ice basically just do a lap around the floor and um they were already gone so we missed them and then that night when we we went to the concert and everything um so we didn't end up meeting them or anything but went to the concert the concert was great i loved it this was the concert where they went over everybody it was such an amazing experience yes we were high up and everything but it was just awesome um and then anyway that night we went back to the hotel and um we stayed there and everything. We were wondering if they were still there or not. So, but there was more people on our floor. You could hear people talking and like coming and going and everything else. We're like, oh, they're definitely not here now. At least we found out that they went on and they went, they stayed somewhere else for the next night. And the following night, when we went back to our hotel. They had security at like, they had securities at every entrance of the hotel. Then they had security by the elevators. And in order to get on the elevators, you had to show a room key. So we knew that someone popular was here, but I was like, none of this was done for five seconds of summer. But yeah, apparently Bruno Mars and Ellie Golding were staying in our hotel. So yeah, that is my story on um, five seconds of summer staying in our hotel on our hotel room floor. Um, it's kind of a crazy experience because you never expect that to happen, is to be staying somewhere, especially in like the same hotel on the same floor as someone who's like a celebrity. That was pretty cool. Even though we didn't get to meet them, I'm still happy with the experience we had. And just knowing that they were on the floor is still so, like, thinking about that. I'm like, oh my god, I stayed on the same floor as five seconds of summer. So it's still really exciting and really happy. So yeah, if you guys like videos like this, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you do want to see more story time videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I guess we'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye. I had to do uh, a different form of tie-dye. I came across this on the internet a little while ago.